Hello everyone, today I decided to make a showcase video to show just how far I got after playing Genshin Impact for 10 days exactly. So as you can see I have reached uh, rank 41 and I have acquired some characters. I have uh, Raiden Shogun, I got Tignaria and I have guaranteed and I am guaranteed to get the next character I want, because Tignari was in fact after I won the 50-50 for the Raiden Shogun. Also, Kiching was on the very first pool I did on this account, and this was the moment I decided to keep it as it is. So, I have done quite a bit of exploration. I am finished, at least for now, with Mondstadt. I got every single uh, Animoculus. I am done with Dragonspine. I have 96% exploration. I'm done with Crimson Agates too, I just have to finish the Crimson Wishes. As well as Joculus, I've collected every single one, meaning that I have, just after it, uh, playing for 10 days, I have maximum stamina. I did not collect a lot of uh, Dendroculus or Electroculus, because I decided to just leave Sumeru and Inazuma for the later date. But I've unlocked most of the Sumeru map because of the event with the balloons, just to get the Prima gems. And to upgrade Raiden Shogun I had to reach to Serail Island, unlock everything that is involved, and to do the quest to get to Thunder Manifestation. So I guess let's start with uh, weapons. I did, get, I did get the catch, it did take me quite a few hours and a lot of hopping on different co-op worlds. It turns out that, that people at AR 30 to 35 are not exactly welcoming, because everyone is involved with doing the Arkham quests and whatnot, and also during the Raiden banner a lot of people actually need their fish. And not everybody have unlocked in Azuma at AR 30 to 35. I did buy the Blackleaf Warbow for Star, Star, Star Glitter uh, for Tignari, because it is an okay weapon. I have the PlayStation Sword, because I am of course playing on PlayStation. I was lucky enough to get the Sacrificial Sword, but I didn't get anybody to use it. I have... A little bit of other weapons, but I have no use for them for now. The only other weapons other than these three that I use are a bow for Ember, a great sword for Noel, Harbinger of Dawn, and the Trilling Tales of Dragon Slayer. Let's get to the characters now. I have two teams that I am using in Abyss, which I reached the end of floor 8 by now. I use a team for uh, melting Ember Charge Shots, which deal quite a bit of damage, surprisingly. And the Aggravate Spread Tignari with uh, Barbara to deal with any Pyrrhus Shields in the second half of the Abyss, and anything that I need to use, so maybe Shanling if there is any Cryo, and Fischl for Electro Resonance if there is nothing else. I will show my builds in a second, just for you to see that I have reached uh, floor 8. I didn't get all the stars, but I'm pretty close. So, nobody other than this uh, six characters actually have Upgraded artifacts and weapons. So Tignari has okay crit ratio because of his weapon. I'm going to switch him to Wanderer set when I'll be able to get gold artifacts consistently. I got the catch for Raiden and I'm going to switch her to Emblem at AR45. But now my main focus is going to be to upgrade their talents. Noel is going to fall behind now, because she does not provide any significance. Kea is, is dealing an insane amount of damage, and his, and his crit ratio looking really nice. 
for this lower year. Ember was my main damage dealer due to her ability to use the uh, crit shot bow, which deals a good amount of damage on weak spots. Her ratio is okay as well, but the one character I focused uh, the most was the Traveler, because of the amount of talent levels you get for nothing, and due to a lucky roll on a purple goblet just at the start of the game, then I decided to make a physical Traveler, and this allowed me to make use of uh, PlayStation Sword really well. So I was lucky enough to get a crit rate gladiator piece, which allowed me to have a decent amount of crit rate, and I also have some crit damage, obviously this is going to improve later. They have the most uh, levels of talents for now. Today I'm going to finish a couple of weapons. I have upgraded uh, only three characters, no, actually only two characters to level 70 out of 80. I just need to finish some uh, handguards for Raiden. And I got the boss materials for Ember and Kaya, but they all have to wait. The mob drops are really abysmal on this low level. So, also, one uh, more thing to mention is I only have Animo Traveler unlocked. I did not get Geo Traveler or Electro or Dendro, just because I don't have any other Animo characters that are required for exploration. I mean, I have Sayu, but she is not really good. And I was able to get around all the puzzles that requires uh, Geo Contract with Ember's Bunny or with Kiching skill. So I collected all the Geoculus without using a uh, Geo Traveler, which is quite an achievement. Talking about achievements, I have a little bit. I have 216. The biggest amount of damage I dealt on this account was about 20k, 23k with uh, Raiden, I believe it was on floor 7. And this is going to go way higher when I upgrade when I upgrade the catch, which is going to be tomorrow, I believe. Yes. This is uh, Friday the uh, 13th as I'm recording this video. So I am done with Arkan Quest in Livia and I got to Inazuma at uh, rank about 32, I believe, maybe 33. I did start with uh, the Tatarasuna quest and I did, did start on uh, Hamayumi bow. I did it for two days. I am currently on Kakomist quest line. And I'm probably going to finish this today. So I'll show my damage on uh, the Cryo Regis line, because this is the most uh, comfortable boss to deal with. I do really like how Tignari plays. The quick swipe style, I really like it. So I won't be able to deal with the Regis Vine in just one cycle, but with breaking the second weak spot we are going to get him just okay. And 
and we are done with him just like that. One problem I was having is that if you play this game a lot, your world rank increases very rapidly and I was using all of my fragile resin. So usually at AR40 you would have like at least close to 30 fragile resins, but I was using it all to keep up with the world. I had to upgrade my weapons, had to use it to get boss materials and talents. And I am in a good place right now, and I'm not going to need a lot for a while, because next upgrade is at AR50, and this is going to slow down for now. But you really have to struggle to keep up with the world. But I don't really have any problems, at least in the open world. There are going to be problems with domains and with artifact domains at AR45. But I'll have to get through. So these are all of the characters that I got. I did get uh, some Sayus. I got Rosaria, I got Sara, which I might use later. I did get uh, Fisher from Noel Banner. I did get Koli and Shanling uh, from Abyss. And I do have Toma, but I don't have Surumi Island unlocked, so he's just stuck on level 20 with his weapons. Everybody has at least some resemblance of a build. But I'm mainly using the six characters I have anyway. I did get some good artifacts, at least they were good until they were upgraded. This piece is just so sad to look at, it just all got into defense. Now I really want to feed it into something else, even though it is quite usable for this low AR. So it's getting really late, this is actually already day 11 of my Genshin journey right now. I'll uh, stop the video here, I will provide some updates on the account in the future. If will I get further in the abyss, or if I'll get another character, which I'll probably will, because I'm guaranteed and I'm like 20 something in the pizza, and it's not that hard to come by Prima Gems at uh, this stage of the game. So, yeah, this is everything, everything I have to say for now. I guess see you in the next one.